Hey guys, welcome back to b and Farms, where our goal is to not just live on our land, but to try to live in cooperation with our land. Well, you can probably tell in the tree line there behind me that it's fall. Heavy frost this morning, leaves turning colors. That means one thing, time for fall cleanup. Got to get the bush hog on the tractor, start mowing weeds and trash and debris, and, uh, you know, get ready to put this place to bed for the winter. So, thanks for hanging out with us. We're glad you're here. I hope you brought your gloves. It's going to be a big day. Here we go. Man, that was a struggle. Every year is the same thing. And I only use this bush hog once or twice a year, but it's always a fight. And yeah, the A-frame on the, on the three-point hitch part of the bush hog itself is bent. That doesn't make things any easier. But I tell you what, you guys that are running quick hitch attachments on your three points, let me know down in the comments if you think it's a worthwhile investment because I'm getting awful tired fighting this thing. I'd appreciate it. Real quick look at what we're uh, going to be bush hogging here in this first this first area. It's right by the food plot. This is autumn olive. It is an invasive plant in Indiana. Uh, grows just about everywhere. It's got little thorns on it. Can you guys see that? See that thorn right there? Just poke you, drag you right off a tractor seat if it gets a hold of you. And we are blessed with an abundance of it. So we're going to be bush hogging this down. And uh, hopefully we can see the ground when we're done. That was quite a fall you took there. You guys okay? You can see over here we don't have that autumn olive stuff that we're dealing with. It's just it's just weeds, just really tall, tall weeds. It won't be anything for the bush hog to cut through that, so it shouldn't be too bad.
I noticed the temperature gauge coming up on the uh, LS XG3140. Maybe it's time we take a look at the radiator screen. The outside doesn't look too bad. It's definitely got some chaff on it, but not not real bad. There's still air going through there. But let's uh, let's open it up and check the screen on the radiator itself. Oh yeah. You guys see in there? Woo! There's our problem. There we go. You know, when you're when you're bush hogging in this dry, dusty conditions, you got to keep these radiator screens clean. Uh, keep an eye on your temperature gauge. When you see it start to climb in like I did just then, better take a look at it. Something bad be getting ready to happen. That'll do it. It'll run a lot cooler now. All right, back to work. Now we can see that temperature gauge starting to drop. Getting a little airflow over that radiator core now. Alright guys, you saw me there bush hogging on the back side of one of our, our dams, one of our pond dams. Uh, I want to turn you around and kind of give you a, a, a comparison where I quit bush hogging as to what it looked like here. Hmm, a lot of shadows on that. You can't really see, can you? That's a little better. Uh, this dam, it gets pretty steep. Honestly, if I had more room down here at the bottom, I'd probably go ahead and, and continue to back up the hill bush hogging. But as you can see, it's really brushy down here at the, at the bottom of this dam. And I just don't have enough room to turn around down here. So this is about all I can do on the tractor and the bush hog. The rest of this will take a, a brush cutter, basically a straight shaft weed eater with a blade on it. And it will be cleaned by hand. Let me tell you, that's not much fun. And this is only one of five dams that I have to clear every year. It's part of owning property. If you don't do it, Mother Nature will reclaim it. And that makes your job ten times harder. Better off just jumping in there, getting it done every year. So did the XG3140H LS tractor coupled to that ancient five foot bush hog do a good job for us? Take a look. Yeah, it did. No more autumn olive. Looks a lot better. 
Man, that has been a crazy day on the tractor. A lot of noise, a lot of beating, banging, brush cutting, but we've got it done. Everything that's left, which is quite a bit, will need to be cut by hand. We'll have to get the uh, straight shaft brush trimmer, that Echo uh, SRM trimmer, put a steel blade on it. By that I mean a metal steel blade, and come out here and cut this by hand. Well, let me show you what we got. You see that autumn olive growing there, and you probably saw me back up as close as I dared to the water's edge and hang the bush hog out over it but there's still quite a bit I just can't get that close to it and that's got to be cut by hand but that's going to be a chore for another day I think I'm going to wrap this video up I know it's been kind of strange I'm not sure how long it's going to be won't know till I get in and start editing it, editing it. but I appreciate you hanging with me this long uh, what else? Oh, yeah, please remember to like share and subscribe. Uh, we are growing the channel. It's 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 inching its way up We appreciate it very much. Thank you for all you do for us Remember to get outside. Oh guys. It is gorgeous out here. It's a beautiful fall day. The temperature is awesome Get outside do something. You'll be a better person for it Remember to be nice to one another man. The world is a crazy place, isn't it? It doesn't cost anything to be nice. So yeah, be nice I'm going to go to the house. I will see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for hanging with us. Y'all have a good week.